This is a story of Bohemian's girl. But you should know up front, this is not a love story. By this scene, you may think that they are truly, deeply, madly in love with one another, holding hands and promising a happily ever after ending, right? What am I doing with my life? to be so confused. Let's go back to the beginning. Please, you must believe in me. We're not real. I was murdered. Yeah, no. do something. No, I don't believe in you. Yes, you did it. You did it, John. You did it. You made him disappear. I love you. Well, that's enough. Okay, see now what's happening here. You do? Yes, you don't love her because you miss that peculiar girl of yours. You should break up with her, you know? But won't I break her heart? Well, anyways, I'm afraid she doesn't love me enough to leave her husband for me. Then follow my advice. After all, as a friend once told me, good advice is rarer than rubies. Okay, I would do that. Well, my friend, I have to leave because it's time for couscous. You know, I eat, I eat couscous all the time. Couscous for breakfast, for couscous for dinner, couscous for lunch. Well, bye, my friend. Okay, bye. Uh, Fatima, bring me some couscous, please. Hurry! Mr. Wilkins! Yes, sir? Do you think that I should break up with her in person? Or maybe write her a letter? Well, sir, as a third speaker with no interest in the matter, I think you should write her a letter to lessen her suffering. Mm. I can personally give the letter to her, so you can take a break and process everything. Really? Would you do that for me? Well, in fact, I already bought the ticket to go to India, spend a little time with Mohammed and have a good holidays. That sounds really good actually. I'm gonna write right now the letter and give it to you so you can give it to her. Okay, that's all Mr. Wilkins. and the colonel were lovers. The colonel was confused, so he asked for advice. He decided to end the relationship by leaving Mrs. Bisby a letter that was given by the butler. I know, I know. You must be wondering where did the cow come from. Let's not get ahead ourselves. 
I can't believe you were cheating on me. We have been married for 10 years and all this time you've been fooling me. Do you think I'm stupid? How could your round afford that goat? Okay, listen to me. It not was his thing. It's a misunderstanding and I love you and it could strengthen our relationship. Are you kidding me? What a liar. I want you to leave this house. I'm sure you will find someone else to cheat. You're so natural at doing that. Okay, that's what you want. Fine. Go with the secretary and oh my god. But I'm sure that you two you won't stay any longer. You are like an eagle pigle behind his father lives and I I cannot stay any longer. I'm here. That's it. We are done. You are not worth in wasting my time with. Mrs. Pepsky, what? I have to tell you something. What is it? Do you have a message from me for the coroner? It's not about the coroner, it's about me. I have to confess. I'm sick of everything! I hit all of my life! I'm just going out with my aunt to Baltimore. Please, Mrs. Bitsky, listen to me. Haven't you noticed all this year that I've been in love with you? While you was having a good time with the colony, I was to be there and look at you while you were having a good time together. What are you saying? You're just a servant. I'm a lady. Please, Mrs. Bitsky. Roses are red, violets are blue, love is blind, and I love you. I know everything about you. Who do you think that gave you that coat? The coat? The coat was from the coronet. That coat is cursed. I'm just... That coat destroyed all my life, and now I'm just living. Please, Mrs. Bipsky, come with me. We'll be very happy together. No, I will not. Mrs. Bipsky, if no one... If I can love you, no one will. <laughs>